Right, so we're going to program in a DMR repeater. These are the details here. So you want your radio in VFO mode. On mine, I press uh, P2 and it goes from memory mode to VFO mode. You want to type in the frequency, so I've already got it in there. So you type in with the keypad 430975 couple of zeros to make it up to five digits and you press menu settings channel set channel type we want it to be digital and come back out with the back button Transmit power, it is a repeater so we want it on high, if it was a hotspot you could do it on low. Bandwidth would be automatically be set to narrow. Receive frequency is already in, let's go to transmit frequency and I've already got it in there but you, you just pressed it, you know, delete it away. 438, what was it? 438575 575 couple of zeros to make it up to five digits and we want to come back out so I'll just press delete and then back and make sure transmit allow is on make sure it's on always and color code this repeater's color code 1 and it's sl slot 2 I'm going to use because I don't want to tie up the main slot 1 so I'm going to call it slot 2 so the repeater's all set we just need to link it to a talk group So, you can press list and bring up a list of all your talk groups. Press select. And now every time you key up, you'll be on that talk group, talk group 91. My touch lamp's just come on. So I'm on talk group one there. And to save that to a channel, menu, settings, channel set, new channel. And we'll call that K, K E. I don't know how you do these characters. Input, input channel number. Ah. Call it four thousand. Name K E. And what zone do I want to put it in? I'll put it in my zone best. Confirm save, yes. So that's put that channel in the, in the zone called best. So if I go to that zone, zone, best, select zone. So I'm now in there. Come back out.
I'm just going to come off that frequency so we're not hearing anything. And um, I'll go to manual mode. So I'm in the zone called best. Let's see if I can find that channel. KE. So that's gone in. Right, so I'm still on this channel I've programmed in called KE. And if you want to go from that talk group to another talk group, you can press the list button and select another talk group and select that. Or if you don't have a talk group, if you don't have the talk group in memory that you want to go to, you can press manual dial, menu, talk group, manual dial, and I'll take it over to TAC 310. 310. Notice it's still on private call. If I press the hash button down here, that'll make it a group call for talk groups. Press transmit. And that should be on TAC 310. Let's just see if we can get a contact on there. Two E zero UKH. Uh, just checking. I'm on TAC three ten. Two E zero UKH. Can I just check? I'm on TAC three ten, please. Yeah, thanks a lot. You're now on another video. 7-3, cheers. Thanks. <laughs> I love it when I'm on the videos. <laughs> KZ5RBG, 73. Yep, 7-3, 2-E-0-U-K-H. So that's Shas, that's coincidence. That's Shannon, who was on one of my other videos. So I've just linked that to a talk group I don't have in and that will stay connected for 30 minutes. Uh, I think it's since you last keyed up. Um, that setting I just showed you where you type in the talk group. In your computer programming software, in optional settings, there's a setting called, uh, let me look at the screen, Group call hold time and that's in digital fun and you need to increase the connection time to 30 minutes and then it will stay connected. So we're on this one. You can take it wherever you want. Menu, talk group, manual dial. Let's go over to 2350 in the UK. 2350. Press the hash button. Makes it a group call. Press transmit when the green light's not on. My touch lamp's on again. I'm now on 2350. You can see it at the bottom. There's John on uh, 2350. So that's how to connect to a talk group in a list. That's how to manual dial a talk group for 30 minutes. And if you don't have a talk group in any, you know, it's a new new setup, you can go uh, menu, talk group, new contact, input. You input the ID there, you know, you'd make a talk group, call, call it 3100, say.
you'd say 3100 3100 you press the hash button to make it a group call and you'd press confirm to save it give it a name I'm not going to bother, you'd give it a name and then at the bottom you'd click save and then that talk group would be in the list of talk groups I'm not actually going to do it because I've got so many talk groups in here I've already got 3100 and it won't let you put the same one in twice ok have fun uh, 2E0UKH now if you're wondering why it was so quiet and I had the volume so high that's because I've altered this radio so it doesn't blast out on low volumes and the way I cracked that one is I went menu settings radio set where is it maximum volume level what did I have I've got it set on indoors and if you have it on indoor, the volume is a lot quieter on the lower volumes. Okay, another good tip for you there. 7-3.